Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a magnifying glass effect. So this is what it looks like. So say for example you have some uh, small text and this text is actually an image of the text or you have another image. You don't need to do it with text. You can do it with images too. And you want to have an effect where you have a magnifying glass and it kind of magnifies the small part of that image. So this is actually pretty uh, fairly simple to make. I'll show you how to make it from the magnifying glass, how to put that together to creating this uh, magnifying glass effect. Let's get out of this slideshow. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is create that magnifying glass. And basically, it's just a couple objects or a couple shapes that are put together to look like a magnifying glass. So under the shapes command group, what we want to do is we want to get the can shape. And the can shape is, looks like a cylinder, and basically it's under the basic shapes here and you just need to select this. And I'll go ahead and select that and I'll just kind of draw out a basic cylinder. And not too thick uh, and not too thin. And that looks about just right. And with that, I'm going to make a copy of that and press Control D to make a copy of that. And I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. So I'm going to make that a little bit smaller and maybe a little bit thinner, not too much. And I'm going to put it right above here. You can see the guidelines. Uh, they start kind of giving you a way to see if you're centered or not. So I'm going to center it over here. And if that's not helping out too much with using the mouse buttons, I can use the arrow buttons to kind of like put it into place a little bit more. Let me select outside of that and see how it looks. Now for finer movements, you can press the control and then the arrow key. It will give you finer movements. If I didn't have the control key, it would kind of move it a little bit out. So I think you can use the control key or maybe it's the alt key. No, the L key uh, rotates it. So let me go ahead and control Z to undo that. So control arrow key, it can kind of do the finer movements for you. That looks okay. Let me kind of do it a little bit more. Maybe, oops, that was a shift key. Made it a little fatter. So let me go down a little bit. Go to the right a little bit. Let's see how it looks here. And that looks okay. Uh, maybe I'm gonna maybe move, make that a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna make the width a little bit smaller here. So maybe instead of four or five, make it, uh, 4-4. Four, four. Let's see if that works out. So that makes it a little bit center. So that's good. So what I want to do is create another piece, make it even a smaller piece, press Control D, and then kind of bring it up here and make this a little bit smaller. Let's make this one uh, 4, maybe make it 4-1. Four, uh, four Let's see how that looks. Okay, and then make it, make it also a little shorter. A little shorter here. Okay, and kind of actually that can probably be a little skinnier. So I'm going to make that maybe uh, 0.39. All right, and so I'm going to go ahead and move it in. Use the arrow key, or maybe just use the mouse and kind of line up there. That looks good. So that actually looks okay. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that, and I'm going to change the colors of this. So I'm going to change that color. I'm going to use the default. I'm going to use the default shape styles here. It makes it easier for me. I'm going to make this one black. So this, this changes the fill color and also the outline color based on this shape style. So that looks good. I'm going to do the same for this one. I'm going to make this one black. And then, well, actually, I'm going to make this one gray. So I'm going to go ahead and select the shape style here. There's another default one here. I'm going to choose this subtle effect black dark one and do the same for the top one here. So that turns it into a nice little handle. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to create the circle, the, 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 mag the circle part of the magnifying glass. And I'm going to take the oval shape. And so you can get it here, or you can go under Insert, Shapes, and you can get it here under the Basic Shapes. So since I'm already in the Home tab, I'll go ahead and just select this. And once you select that, you can, you can draw it out. And it doesn't really draw a perfect circle. What you need to do to draw out a perfect circle is you need to hold down the Shift key while you draw out the oval. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I'll go ahead and select the oval again. And I'm going to hold the Shift key and draw out my circle. So Let's see, that looks good. Now I'm going to pay attention to the dimensions. So this is 2.33 to 2.33. Let's just make it an even number, 2.4 to 2.4. So that's kind of a perfect square in a way of the circle. The diameter is 2.4, 2.4. So I'm going to bring this up here. Let's see, let's see, I have my guidelines here. Let me bring it up a little higher. So I want to kind of make it cover that. So what happens is it's going to cover this gray part a little bit. And the reason why I'm going to keep it like that is I'm going to make a copy of this and make some changes. This is going to be my template. So later on, if I wanted to change the size of it or the difference of the handles, I can do that later with this. So this is my template. I'm going to go ahead and select everything here. Control C to copy. I select the outside of it. Control V to paste. And what I want to do is when I get this tip here, I'm going to go ahead and 
paste it as a picture. So right now you can see that if I try to kind of select the other parts of the magnifying glass, I can't because it's one solid picture. These little sub shapes here aren't selected anymore because I select, I pasted the whole thing as a picture. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to change the color in here later on to make it transparent. You'll notice if I kind of move this out here, that shape here, you can see that the gray in this background kind of bleeds out to this rectangle shape, but not here in this particular uh, circle here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make that particular, oh, I forgot to do one thing. Let me go ahead and uh, delete this. I want to change the outline here, make this outline black. So I'm going to do and go, go under format, go under the shape outline and make that black. All right, so that's black. I'll keep this blue. Actually, maybe green would be a better fill. So I'll go ahead and select fill. I'll select green because I kind of like to use green because it's more kind of a, a color that's not really uh, out there in pictures and you can select it out later on. Uh, what I want to do right now is I want to go ahead and select the group, so press control C, select outside, con press control V to paste it, and then paste it as a picture, use the picture option. So this whole thing is a picture, it's not a subset of these individual shapes anymore. So what I want to do now is I want to make this particular, the, the fill in here, I want to make that colorless. I don't want to have that green anymore. You see, if I go out here, you can see that the rectangle here, the, the, the gray color bleeds through, but not through this green, right? So I'm going to go ahead and change that. So to do that, I'm going to go under Format, I go under the Adjust Group, go to Color, and select Set Transparent Color. So I, know, I want to set this green as a transparent color. And once I do that, if I go click out here, you see now that the green bleeds through. So that, now this is my magnifying glass. So I've made my magnifying glass. So I'm going to keep that there. The next thing I want to do is I want to make the, pic, the words as a picture. So let me go into the slide here. I'll go ahead and insert some word art. I'll go under Insert and go to word art here. I'll select the one I like over here and I kind of just draw it out. I'll say this is fine print, All right? So I'll, I'll make this smaller too. I'll make this, uh, right now it's uh, 54 uh, size, the font. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Maybe I'll make this uh, 44 and let me kind of pull it over here. And what I want to do is right now, this is a text box. I want to turn this into an image. So I can select that. Now you see the dotted lines have turned into a solid line. I'm going to go ahead and press Control X and then press Control V to copy it back. And once I copy it, paste it back, I want to select it as a picture. So now this thing is a picture. I can't edit it. I can't, if I try to type in there, I can't edit it. So I'm going to go and pull this to the side here. And what I want to do now is I want to make a copy of this. So this copy that I'm going to make, this is going to be that part that's going to be bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and press Control D. That makes a copy of it. This will be the part where it will be magnified. And this part I have to crop. I just want to show this print uh, image or this print part of the image, this text here. So what I want to do is I want to go under Format, go under Crop, and go, go ahead and no, I guess I'll just crop it right now. And let me see. It's uh, 143 and 505. So the height is 143. And what I want to do is I kind of want to make it uh, about the size that I made this circle. As I remember, we went back to the circle. Let's go back to the slide. This circle was about, if I go into the format, 2.4. So I want to make it about, about the same size, 2.4 inches there. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of make this a little bit bigger. So let me go ahead and uh, press the corner, add, select that corner, make that a little bigger here. And let's see, let me go into format and look at the height, 2.28. Oh, that looks okay. So that, 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 that'll be just right. A little bit bigger is okay. So what I want to do now is I want to crop it. So I want to crop it. I want to move this and kind of make it into a perfect square. So we have a 2.94, so 2.28 is up there. Let's make it 2.94 here, or 2.28. Let's see, make it a little bit smaller. 2.4, 2. Uh, well, maybe I can make this a little bit smaller here too. Make that smaller, 2.03. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna have to make it like 2.25. I'm, I'm just gonna type it in, right, 2.25. So now it's kind of a perfect square here. So I'm gonna go ahead and crop that part. And so once I crop it, it's like a perfect square and I can actually just crop it and make it a circle now. So if I go into crop and I crop to shape, I can select the, the shape here. So this is the shape that it's in. And you really can't see it unless you kind of put a border around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a border around there. So I'm gonna put a black border here. So now you can see that it's kind of cropped within that circle. And I wanna have that circle kind of above here, right? So right now, it's a blank. It's um, right now it's it's a transparent image. You can see that you know the gray goes goes past it. And I don't really want to do that. I want to make sure that uh, this image is uh, kind of white in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and go into format picture 
And then for the uh, fill, I'm going to have the solid fill as white. So I'm going to have that white, right? So now it's a white fill. So when I kind of put it over here, it covers it up because it covers that image that's on top. You think of it as layers. It's one layer on top of the other. So I'm going to kind of move it there so it kind of shows up like that. And so maybe I'm going to move it up here a little bit more. And uh, maybe I want to change the bordage. I don't want that dark. Maybe have it a black. Instead of black, make it gray, right? And so what I can do now is I can take this magnifying glass. Let me go ahead and Control C to copy it and Control V to paste it over here. And I can have it. And I can ro I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it so it looks like this, right? And then I can just kind of move it over here. And this is the layer that's above. This is going to be the layer that's above uh, the, this, the print layer, that image. So I'm going to kind of move it into place. Right now it's a little bit, uh, the, the print in the circle image is a little bit bigger. And that's OK. I can make this a little bit bigger. So I can just kind of pull it out and make it a little bit bigger. Now I can use the arrow keys to kind of like put it into place. And really that didn't work out too well because you see the, 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 the oval here kind of takes over. So let me see what I can do here. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Oh look, it's not a perfect square. So what we're going to do is we can, instead of the instead of 251, we can make it 2.25. Oh, and the reason why it's doing that is it's keeping the. You can notice that when I change this, this also changed. So I'm going to set the height back to 2.25 because that's closest. And what I'm going to do is actually, I, all I need to do is just select this uh, this expanding box, this this uh, dialog launcher. It's going to go into format picture, and I want to. I don't want to have. To, I don't want to lock the aspect ratio. So when I change. The height, the, the width doesn't change. So the height's 2.25, the width is 2.25. And you notice when I click close, that stays the same. And now it's kind of like a perfect circle. So the diameter going up and down, the diameter going right, left and right, they're the same. So I can kind of move this back into place and move it over. I can kind of make this a little bit smaller now so it kind of covers the outline. I don't have to worry about making the outline disappear on that circle because I want to make the, uh, the outline of this magnifying glass kind of cover it. So right now, let's see if I can do that. Uh, let's see. The other way I can do it is since I had this one at uh, 2.4, I can also do this 2.4. So let's kind of move this aside and make this 2.4. That would probably be the easiest. So I'll make that 2.4 and make the width 2.4. And now it'll probably fit kind of nicely. So let me go ahead and use the arrow keys now. Since I used the mouse earlier, I'm using the arrow keys. Press Control arrow to do the fine tuning and uh, kind of fit it into place, right? So now it kind of fits over the gray. And usually in a magnifying glass, I think, I believe it's a uh, convex or concave. I forgot which one it was. But you, you have that kind of bevel shape on there. So I can actually create that on this uh, print. So let me go ahead and uh, uh, move this uh, back out. And I want to do is I want to select the image of print, go under Format, go under the Picture Effects, and go under Bevel, and select the bevel here. So it's kind of like a nice bevel, but I wanted to make it a little bit more pronounced, a little bit more, um, give it a little more emphasis. So I can go back to Bevel, go under 3D Options, and I need to play around with the top here. So the width and the height, I'm going to play around with it. Probably increase this a little bit. Uh, let's see, maybe up to 14 and the height maybe I want to increase that up to a little bit less maybe about 12 and so now we've got a kind of a nice 3d effect here and you can see that and this would probably be a little bit more uh, similar to what you would see in a magnifying glass so I'm going to move the magnifying glass back here and let me kind of move it with the arrow keys now and that was too much let me move it here move it up use the control with the arrow move it back left and move it down and now we have our magnifying glass effect. So you can just you can do this with text. You can do this with images. Uh, it doesn't. If you do it with text, you probably need to turn it into an image first, like I did earlier. Uh, if you wanted to kind of use this for your PowerPoint shows, that's fine. You can just leave it like this. Or if you wanted to save this and put it into another document, like a Word document or something else, like a web page, you can just select that and go ahead and uh, group it, and then right click. Whoops. Let me go ahead and see if I selected everything. No, I didn't select this one too. So Control Z to undo. Let me go and select everything. Let me select outside and select. Make sure I select three things. There's three shapes, and then press Control G. That groups everything into one shape. I'm now go ahead and right click, and you can click Save as Picture. You see the Save as Picture show up, dialog box show up, and what you want to do is you probably want to save it as a PNG file. And once you save that, you can go ahead and copy and paste it or insert it into other files or other documents. 
So there you go. That's the way that you can create a magnifying glass effect. Uh, from creating the magnifying glass to creating the uh, larger uh, image and out, out of the smaller image and keeping it as part of your PowerPoint file or maybe saving it as a PNG file, another image file, so you can use somewhere else. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.